hello guys uh, here is i have samsung tab e 8 inch and is screen is screen and lcd both is cracked so i'm gonna show you how to replace that let me remove the sim card there is sim card or not we have to check there is no sim card and check the memory card there is no memory card also now, now we're gonna remove the screen first there is two layer one is digitizer one is lcd so some tablet people are break only digitizer lcd is good but this one is both is cracked so we have to replace the both if his lcd is good we have to very be careful uh, to remove the digitizer because if you try to if you don't be careful you're gonna break the lcd too so now we're gonna remove the first we're gonna remove the frame you can see here is some space we have to deep deep it this plate to remove the frame this is the lcd frame we have to remove it first then we can separate the LCD and digitizer. We have to do slowly and little by little. You, you can see now it's come out the frame from the body. two side is removed now we can uh, we can use the hand to remove it one side you can't push it down one side you push it up so it's come out is now easily come out now we're gonna remove the digitizer connection remove the tape first then we're gonna remove the digitizer there is black clip you have to unclip it and remove the digitizer now we're gonna remove the digitizer and we have to remove on top side too because top side didn't remove yet so we have to put some heat on top we are almost down to remove the digitizer now we just separate it that's it yes I remove it let me clean up now we're gonna remove the battery connection and now we're gonna remove the LCD connection there is a black clip we have to Pull it up. Now remove the LCD ribbon. Now we're gonna remove the LCD. This already cracked, so we don't have to worry about it. We just push it up. It's come out easily. Now we're gonna clean the tape all side. There is a glue tape. We have to remove it and clean it nicely. Also, you have to check make sure there is no broken glass. There is the new digitizer and LCD glass is together. And there is the old LCD. We have to remove the ribbon from old LCD. Apply some heat on top of that. Just slowly you have to remove it. Yes, it's removed. Now I'm gonna put it back in new screen. Uh, 
and just clip it this way uh, you can put it on tape top of that so it's not gonna move now we're gonna put the LCD to test the screen make sure it's working properly before we put the glue on it we're gonna check first then we're gonna install with the glue and make sure it's on center yeah now you're gonna connect the digitizer connection now lcd connection let's push it in and clip it with black clip that one just clip it now you're gonna put the battery connection right here yes now you're gonna I don't know this iPad has a charge or not. If it looks like it doesn't have charge, so you're gonna charge it. See if it has a charge or not. Yeah, it's only one person charge. So you're gonna turn on now. It's turning on. Swipe down. Is uh, touch is working. Brightness up and down. there is screen lock two minute after two minutes we check the screen again swipe up go back it's working remove the charger we're gonna remove the screen again and we're gonna install finally install with the glue we have to slow be, be careful we have to slowly remove it because there is some previous glue on it that's why it's a little bit tight now we're gonna apply the glue on side we do want to use tape we use glue so if i need it we can move the screen first we have to put the lcd connection on this hole and then we're gonna see on top side that is camera make sure is the the hole is on middle of the camera you can see the white hole is middle of the camera and bottom side we have to put it on top of the home button make sure home button is clicking so if his camera is on middle and home button is clicking that's mean screen is straight screen is even on center now we're gonna connect the digitizer connection there is two hole and there is two pin is goes inside the pin this whole two hole goes inside the pin and there is white line now you're gonna connect the LCD connection just push it in and press the clip now you're gonna connect the battery connection with the two just just you're gonna push it in that's it now you're gonna play back tape make sure it's not moving when you put the tape it's not moving the LCD connection or digitizer connection we are done here now you're gonna install this LCD frame on the frame first we're gonna put on charging port side just press in don't press too hard just see is go smoothly or not if it goes smoothly just press it yeah, it's looking good now you're gonna plug in and, and charge make sure it's working properly if it's not working we have to remove the screen again and and fix it because glue steel is not hard yeah touch is working go back is working and is home button also working brightness up and down working we don't know the password so you cannot check other thing yeah it's looking good and now we're gonna remove the charger and see all side is make sure it's on center there is no up and down between glass and frame this looks good we're gonna clip it clip it on like two three hour after dry gonna remove it that's all right now let me know how you guys like it and thank you for watching